brought to you by Audi. Visit your tri-state Audi dealer today and get behind the wheel of the Audi model you've always wanted. For the Devils, it's Mackenzie Blackwood, not in uniform for the previous two games due to a neck injury. He did allow four goals in his last appearance versus Vegas in the last game that he played. And at the opposite end for the Buffalo Sabres, Uko Pekka Lukanen. The Finnish-born goaltender turns 23 in the spring. If we call him UPL, it's not out of laziness, folks. This is a fast-moving game, and every now and then we've got to roll with it, Mr. Danico. Say Uka Pekka looking in five times fast, Can That might be a little difficult, but the Devils hope to get some pressure on the young goaltender who's played well in his short time with the Sabres. Sparkling save percentage of 936 as the Sabres dump in. Second of three meetings between the teams this season. Miko Heischer starts out for the Devils and he's flanked by Pavel Zaka and an opportunity here for Jesper Boquist on the top line tonight as a puck flutters wide and collected here by the Devils captain again. Zaka the hero, the last time the teams met, that was a long time ago. It was game four of the regular season for the Devils that night. Six consecutive defeats for the Devils coming into tonight. You have to believe this team embraced the break. Sabres began to play well for the first time since the opening weeks of the season prior to the pause in their year. Here's Jack Hughes over the line. Poked off his stick. Now Hughes gives here. Jesper Bratt drops a pass back. Dougie Hamilton retreats. And it's good to see the Devils' top defensive pair intact. Hamilton and Graves together again. Yeah, it just really settles everything down. I think Ryan Graves is a big help for Dougie Hamilton from the standpoint that Dougie can, you know, jump in a little more, feel a little more confident as far as bringing that offense, which the Devils need from him. And he knows he's got Ryan Graves on the back end to cover up just in case he takes a, a, a risk or two here. Maybe a little more difficult to think that way with Ryan Graves out. The defenseman for the Sabres wearing number 45 is Casey Fitzgerald, the son of the Devils general manager, Tom Fitzgerald. His second NHL game, Dawson Mercer, sends one wide of the net. Ty Smith tries to send towards goal. Turn around try and a soft shot off the stick of Andreas Janssen is held by Lukanen. Lindy Ruff back in Buffalo where he was a player and coach for long stretches. He called this 10-day gap between games a reset. Tom Fitzgerald assessing the state of the club prior to Christmas. The answers are in that room, he noted. The team tonight seeking its first win in 21 days. You have to go back to December 8th, beating Philadelphia at home. Yeah, you have to put that in the rear view mirror, obviously, because you got to be confident and stay positive here. Do what you did the first 10, 12 games. For me, that was a quick game. High paced type of hockey game. I think sometimes too hesitant. Get going. Get shots to the net and, and play with confidence. Marion Studenich recalled from the taxi squad as the Devils announced earlier tonight Jimmy Vesey is in COVID protocol. Shot by Smith blocked away in front. Smith again and that's redirected wide. Nathan Bastion centering try wanted Studenich. The Sabres get a stick on that. And Smith plays the puck in deep once again. Michael McLeod checked by Will Butcher. Former Devils defenseman, Hobie Baker Award winner. Wearing number four for Buffalo as this is played across here. Smith again, his shot off a stick. That was John Hayden, another former Devil who got in the path of that. Well, good start here for the Devils. Some zone time against the Buffalo Sabres, but now it's about getting shots to the net, getting guys in front, screening the goaltender. Pass by Heischer, deflected off a stick, and collected by the Sabres once again. Carried over the line by Rasmus Dali. He is the anchor of the Buffalo defense. First overall pick in the 2018 draft. Gathered here, J.J. Paterka, the 19-year-old making his National Hockey League debut. And starting out tonight on a top line with Tage Thompson and Alex Tuck. Here come the Devils in transition and checked off the puck initially, Jesper Boquist. Severson, pass across, Pavel Zaka looks to play it in deep. And this puck deflects into the Sabres bench area for a stoppage in play. The man running the Buffalo bench tonight is doing so because Don Granato has entered COVID protocol. That's Matt Ellis, the 42-year-old who joined the Sabres coaching staff as an interim assistant 
in March of last season. He was elevated to a full-time role over the summer and played parts of seven years of his career with the Sabres. That's the world we live in now, Kanj, and opportunities created everywhere, not only on the ice, but for Matt Ellis, who never thought in a million years, I would believe that he'd be head coach behind the Buffalo Sabres bench in late hope. December. That Granado would be back for tonight. That return is on hold. Here is Hughes playing a puck across. That was Yegor Sharangovich cutting in front. And the Sabres get this to center. Kyle Oposo to play it across. Poked ahead by Natalie. Hughes. Finally coming up to the Sabres, I believe, Cange behind the Devils Hugh, net. Nano. We'll see the call. Kyle Oposo, the veteran, going to the penalty box for the Sabres. So the Devils will get an opportunity early on the power play. Watch right here. Oposo gets his stick up, tried to lift the stick of Ryan Graves behind the Devils net. And he missed and caught Graves right on the chin area. So the Devils get the first power play of the evening. And they did get one against the Penguins. You got to build off something. And they have to continue to see if they can improve it and find some consistency. Nathan Bastion throws a puck in front. Hamilton with a drive that goes wide. Devils power play brought to you by RWJ Barnabas Health. It's two for high sticking for Kyle Oposo. Jesper Bratt, return pass for Hughes is broken up. Off the stick of defenseman Mark Pesek. Hamilton able to hold the zone. And here's Bastion starting out on the first wave of the power play here tonight. This winds to the opposite side, and Hamilton. Bastion shouldered by Henry Yoki Haru, Sabres defenseman wearing number 10. Devils come away with the puck. Hamilton again, shoots, he scores! Dougie Hamilton, it's a power play goal, and the Devils strike first in Buffalo. Well, I really like the puck retrieval on this power play. They couldn't get it clean, and they kept rimming it around the boards, making sure they got to those loose pucks before the Sabres could clear. Now they finally get it back to Dougie Hamilton. Simplistic. Hughes to Hamilton. He winds up. Where's Nate Bastion? Right in front of the goaltender. Hamilton beats him low between the legs. Devils go up 1-0. It's a power play goal. And what do we always talk about, Kanj, when your power play is struggling it has all year although started to get better before this pause just simplify get shots on net and there's nate bastion in front with his new role devils up one nothing that's a big goal big start to this hockey game that power play against pittsburgh you alluded to it went one for five on the night good start this evening as the devils cash in on their first attempt at even strength yanni quokinen drops a puck back and a shot blocked away in front Dougie Hamilton's seventh goal of the season. Making a National Hockey League debut is the Sabre wearing number six, defenseman Ethan Prow. Two Sabres in the lineup. Took the debut skate solo style. Rasmus Asplund walks in, plays a pass across, broken up P.K. Subban. Well, nice play by P.K. Subban. I thought Asplund had a good opportunity to shoot that puck or cut hard to the net. He elected to pass P.K. Subban to flex it. Taken here by Darleen, circles in the double zone. Casey Fitzgerald to play it across to the circle. Darleen, the defenseman, sends one wide. Asplund on the puck and works in deep. Nearly six minutes gone by in this opening period. Devils with the early lead. Victor Olofsson with a pass taken away by Dawson Mercer. Great read by Mercer and defensive help down low, breaking up that pass. Mercer continues on, throws a puck in front, comes to Yegor Sharangovich. Graves to play offside of goal. And Asplin wins this back for a Sabres team that last played on December 17th. It's been an even longer break for Buffalo. 12 between games for the Sabres. As Hughes, in transition, works it across. The Devils are offside. And will step aside. Six and a half gone by. In Buffalo, Devils have the early lead. Three games. And like Ken Danico has said, the Devils have just been keeping it simple. When you look at what they've done over the last three games and why the power play is trending upwards, it's really, they're just getting their shots off. Their shot attempts through the first 27 games, 
uh, through 60 minutes of power play time. Now over the last three games, 119. Uh, that's an increase of 42%. We're looking at an increase of 21% in shots, actual shots on net. And what ends up happening is that the puck just ends up going in the net more. And when you got guys like Dougie Hamilton, just shooting the puck, keeping it simple, good things happen. Back to you guys. Bryce, thank you. Devils come in tonight, ranked 31st in the NHL in power play efficiency. When this team last made the playoffs, 2017-18, it was ranked 10th in the NHL that year. As Yoki Haru skates this ahead for Buffalo. Gange, when we use simplify that term a lot, all it means is, Zach what Bryce said, a couple of passes shoot. When you get your power play going and you feel confident, well, then maybe you can make a few high, more high-risk plays, touch passes, and when things are going well and you're feeling good about it. But for now, when you're just trying to get out of a rut, and uh, now they've scored goals in back-to-back -back games on the power plays, just get back to the point. You've got Hamilton, who has an excellent shot, and Bastion in front. That's how the Devils score this first one in the opener of this game. 4.43 into the game. Hamilton, power play goal, Hughes and Heischer. Credited with the assists on the opening goal tonight as we watch Nico drop a pass back. Shot by Severson, deflected wide of goal. Boquist, deep in the Sabre zone, banks this back. Played across, Siegenthaler, and a blocker save made by Lukanen. And the Sabres in transition carry ahead. Here's Paterka, the 19-year-old. He is born Munich, Germany. Second round pick of the Sabres, 34th overall in 2020. Alex Tuck for Tej Thompson and played back for Yoki Haru. Watched by Quokinen and a shot off the glass behind Blackwood. There's Thompson, such a physical presence. The man wearing number 72. 6 7 2 18, says the program, as this is sent into the Devils bench area for a stoppage in play. We just talked about Nate Bastion getting an opportunity on the first power play unit just for that net front presence, and it paid dividends again. You look at his season, 24 games, four goals and an assist, which started with the expansion team Seattle Kraken. You see the 55 hits as well, so he needs to bring that physical presence. And Nate Bastion has come back here, and even though the Devils have struggled, I think he's fit in well, and he, he just seems to be a prototypical New Jersey Devil type player that they need an element they need with Miles Wood out in particular. But Butcher with a pass to the far side that's steered away by Blackwood. There's Kyle Oposo who took the penalty that led to the goal otherwise having an excellent season is Oposo. Left unprotected in the expansion draft and a shot fought off by Blackwood and carried the other way by Michael McLeod. Gives here to Andreas Janssen into the Sabre zone. Yeah, I like to see Blackwood come up big early here. Uh, feel the puck. He hasn't played in a while, so obviously important for him to make a few saves early on here. And then McLeod does a great job coming back and helping his defenseman getting to that loose rebound. Nice move by Quokinen, and his shot blocked away. And Butcher for Buffalo lifts back. Traded by the Devils for a fifth-round draft pick to the Buffalo Sabres after four years with the club, Will Butcher. Asplund on the puck. Bump by Hamilton, drops a pass back. Yoki Haru for the Sabres. Tries to send one through traffic, stopped by Graves. Set up here, stopped by Blackwood, and the rebound corralled here by Butcher. Bratt sends into the Sabres zone. Well, the Sabres applying some pretty good pressure in the Devils zone there, and Blackwood's had to be sharp in the last couple of shifts here. Asplund to play it across into the skates of Darlene, and that forces the Sabres offside. I rely a lot on this guy on the back end, along with Yoki Haru. Those guys can bring offense, and that's right there, Darlene with the shot in the high slot. He's, he's kind of like a rover. I mean, I would say similar to a Roman Yossi, and as he becomes more experienced and confident. You'll even see more of it, Kanji. I'm not saying he's Roman Yossi, but Darlene has that kind of uh, attributes as far as, you know, such a smooth, elegant skater and had a good chance there. So much pressure as a first overall pick. Comparisons to Lidstrom and the rest. Picked up here by Heischer. Boquist from the sharp angle. That's fought off by the goaltender, Lukanen. 
And carried back the other way. Here's Fitzgerald for Alex Tuck in his Sabres debut. And the Devils get in the path of that pass. Acquired in the Jack Eichel trade in November. Thompson, backhand try, missed the net. Holding the zone is Prow. Paterka fought off nicely by Severson. And Zaka gives here to Jonas Siegenthaler. We saw Tage Thompson with a nice move, eventually missed the net. Ten goals on the year. He's kind of had a coming out party here for the Sabres. And uh, looks like he can be that dominant type top six forward, number one line type of guy and provide some offense with that size as well. Ty Smith tries to shoot through a screen that's deflected out of play. Thompson's 10 goals, already a career best. A lot of hockey in front of him this season and tonight too. Back in. 10 points on the year, Kanj, in 25 games and an impressive plus five considering the tough second half of the Devils. 30 games that they have played uh, and we saw we know there were struggles but uh, they missed this guy immensely and I think he's going to make a big difference here moving forward and the Devils will find their way to uh, get victories here but Ryan Graves just so steady in the back and you see the points so that's a bonus to me he, he's got plenty brought some more offense than maybe we we expected it's his defensive game it's his mobility it's allowing Dougie Hamilton to roam a little bit more and the penalty kill as well. So Ryan Graves, it's great to see him back. Uh, he has brought everything uh, that we thought he would when he came over from the Colorado Avalanche. Off the draw, it's won by the Sabres. This is Darlene on the puck here for Buffalo. Outlet pass by Yoki Haru and sent in. Under nine to go in the opening period. And punched ahead, P.K. Subban. Off the stick of Jesper Bratt, pulls up in the Sabres zone. Tried to pick up Hughes, drops it back instead, and a shot by Subban is blocked away. P.K. on the puck again. Ty Smith sends in deep. It's corralled here by Hughes and played. Bratt back to Hughes. Here's Subban. Ty Smith down low. Hughes to drop it back. Subban with a drive. Save made. The rebound. They score. It's Jesper Brett. Picked up a loose puck. Fired at home. And the Devils open up a 2-0 lead. This is a great shift from the Hughes line here. I mean, they are on the puck quickly. They continually moved it back to the point for uh, an opportunity for a shot. And Ty Smith active from the left point in behind the Sabres net. A quick pass back to P.K. Subban from Hughes. Big save there initially, but then Jesper Pratt, watch the poise and patience and hands right here and from a sharp angle, puts in the rebound to give the Devils a 2-0 lead. This is a great play. I like Jack Hughes so far in this game in the first. He is just making sure he's moving that puck quickly and not getting too fine, and this line's been real good so far. Devils up to Jesper Pratt with the second. And now the Sabres with a pass off the stick of Victor Olofsson. Played across by Asplund. Hamilton looks to get it out of the zone. You see for Bratt, his ninth goal of the season, that ties him for the team lead with Andreas Janssen and Pavel Zaka. All three of those players sitting on nine goals. The Devils and the Canadians are the only teams in the league without a double-digit goal scorer coming into play tonight. Fitzgerald to play it across. And gathered by Siegenthaler. Outlet pass by the stick of Boquist. He'll continue on. Boquist, one of the five players out of COVID protocol and back in the lineup tonight. Butcher carries over the Devils line, but it's swept away from him by Severson. Two-point first period for Jack Hughes. Dano Brett from Subban and Hughes at the 11.48 mark. And just prior to that, I was going to talk about the importance of going to get that next goal. How often, even in this uh, stretch before the pause, where the Devils were in every game or even had a lead catch, couldn't get that second goal. Now, you don't let your foot off the gas pedal, as they say, but that two-goal lead is important for them right now. Uh, they were able to extend it after scoring on the power play. Played out of the zone by Smith. They get in the neutral zone by Bastion. And student each to play this across. And that was a common theme, the Devils coaching staff, that inability to get the second mm -hmm. goal. 
height of this team struggles. Good start in Western New York. Here's Anders Bjork. First full year as a Buffalo Sabre, part of the Taylor Hall trade. He arrived over from Boston. Puck battle at the Devils line and played here across by Pesek. With six minutes to go in the first, Devils up by two. Sabres gain the zone, Cody Eakin with a shot that's forced wide. Veteran sentiment, Cody Eakin. Poke free by the Devils and Jack Hughes. Finds the puck back on his stick a second time and he'll work this ahead. Nifty move by Hughes. He'll continue on. Jack Hughes from the sharp angle, saved by Luke and in, and a shot from the circle off the stick of Hamilton was blocked. Oh, great speed and rush by Jack Hughes off ice. The quick shot from a sharp angle tried to catch the goaltender by surprise, but he gets his own rebound, sets up Hamilton, who just missed. Carried back the other way. Here's a poso for the Sabres. Tried to work it across, and he's hit hard in the corner by Siegenthal. Here's Brack. Fans wanted a penalty. The whistle blows, and the Sabres took exception to that hit. Here we go. Now it's Siegenthaler going at it with Murray. Well, Siegenthaler's been aggressive this year, and you like to see it. He threw a few punches early, took a few there. So the boys go at it. Devils up 2 0. Stay with us. We got a good one. was visible for this New Jersey Devils team. We have well documented the struggles this team has been facing. And prior to the team heading home for the holiday, general manager Tom Fitzgerald spoke to the media and said the answers are in that room. Head coach Lenny Ruff says that just means that he believes in this team. And Ruff reiterated he also believes in the group of guys he has there on the bench in front of him. The players saying that, yes, that is a vote of confidence, but they also look at that message from their GM as a challenge right now as they are trying to dig themselves out as what has been a tough second half to the first 30 games of the season. And again, this is a reset for them looking to start it off on the right note tonight. Guys. Here's Hughes for the Devils and a power play that the Devils come away with after that last exchange. Hamilton, who has a power play goal in the game, gives to Hughes, lost control, and the Sabres get it out to center. Jesper Bratt on the re-entry. Here's Bastion, winds to the opposite side. Devils look to set up, now they do. They work it back to Hamilton. The return pass from Hughes. Hamilton with a shot that's redirected wide. Well, Tuck just took a pretty good run at Jack Hughes. Fans appreciated that. Here's Hughes, works it across. Wanted Bratt. Devils keep the puck in. Comes back to Hamilton again. Jesper Bratt. Across for Hamilton. His shot steered away by the goaltender, Lukanen. Devils power play is brought to you by RWJ Barnabas Health. Taken here by the Devils, Hughes shooting, and that's redirected to the corner. The extra two for the Sabres, Murray got the instigator, Miner, to go along with five for fighting with Siegenthaler, and that shot rejected by Lukanen. All pressure time here by the Devils, and Hamilton lost control, and the Sabres get the much-needed clear. Well, he had the puck in his skates, Kanj, and he wasn't sure if it uh, got out of the zone, and obviously just a little mishap there it was tough for him to see where that puck was but devil's good pressure uh, getting to loose pucks and and continuing trying to fire that puck on net sabers did a good job giving credit on that penalty kill getting in lanes devil's getting the zone 10 seconds to go on the man advantage dawson mercer works it across pass intended for zaka Asplund did well to get it to the neutral zone, but quickly played in. Mercer across and a shot off the bar, off the stick of Damon Severson. Oh, so close. What a play for Mercer. Severson rips it off the crossbar. Back the other way. Olofsson for Buffalo is canceled out by Zaka. That might have taken whatever life is in the building out of it pretty early here. Yeah, that would have been nice for the Devils, and we've seen this through this stretch. A lot of crossbars, posts. Unfortunate, yes, they have a 2 nothing lead, out shooting the Sabres 9-2, to um, but that would have been a nice one to give them a little cushion. Mercer knocks that down with his stick. 
slides it over to Damon Severson, and he does everything but score. The goaltender looking in down, and he rips it off the crossbar. So a little unfortunate puck luck for Damon Severson, but a nonetheless good looking power play again for the Devils, and then shortly after that with that play by, from Mercer to Severson. Ty Smith in the corner, worked the puck free, but to the stick of Eakin who drops it back. Now Butcher with a shot, that got through. That's only the third save of the period for Mackenzie Blackwood. Time now for the trivia question. It's brought to you by Cadillac. Tweet your answer to hashtag Cadillac Trivia. The Devils have two 0-0 ties in team history. One was against Buffalo, pretty famous game. Who was their other opponent in the other? scoreless tie. Dominic Hasek, Martin Brodeur with the goaltenders. I remember water. that game, Kenj. I was involved in that one. I'm not sure the other one, whether I was involved or not. It's a good possibility. <laughs> or playing in that game anyway, but I, I can't recollect the second 0-0 zero, zero tie, but that's a good Cadillac trivia question. I believe that's the game where Mr. Brodeur and Hasek took the puck and split it in half as a memento. <laughs> well, two of the greats of all time in a classic goaltender duel. Subban to work this ahead and skated out to center by Michael McLeod. Canceled out pretty efficiently by Darlene as the puck winds to the near side. Graves past the stick of Sharon Govich. Banks a pass back. It's corralled by Subban. His shot fought off by the goaltender Lukanen. Now Darlene under pressure from Sharon Govich. And Yoki Haru will wait for his teammates to change. 80 seconds to go in the opening period of play. It's been a good one for the Devils, leading by two. Hamilton, power play goal. Jesper Bratt has the other. Here's Boquist. Steered off the stick of Zaka. Carried over the line here by Heischer. Gives back to Pavel Zaka and a save made by Lukanen. And a nifty little backhand pass to Pavel Zaka for a good opportunity. Hamilton tried to one-time it from the slot. Couldn't get a lot on it. Now played towards goal and that's redirected wide. I love the mindset of the Devils here and obviously they've been told get pucks to the net. Go to the net hard. Zaka to the circle. Shot by Heischer is blocked. Devils are buzzing late, looking for one more before the horn sounds. Pesic for Buffalo looks to get this out of harm's way and does. That was a nice block in front of the Sabres goaltender by Roots the line in there. The four, number 25, goes down and makes a big block in the high slot. Here comes Brack. Final 15 seconds of the period. Able to drop a pass back. Ryan Graves in his return to the lineup. Bratt once again plays it back. Subban looks for the redirect. And the Sabres get a stick on that. Played out to center. And the horn sounds before Thompson can do much with it. 20 minutes in the books in western New York. Devils take a 2-0 lead to the first intermission. Coming up, two minutes for talking. And the two we'll hear from, Erica Wachner and a special guest, Holiday Memories, all coming up in the first intermission report. Erica and Bryce standing by. It was the kind of period Lindy Ruff would like to see his team turn, churn out time and time again. Devils up by two as the second period begins in Buffalo. Glad you've joined us on this night where we return to action on MSG Plus. Devils hockey back after a 10-day break, the extended Christmas break. Centering try here by the Sabres. Goes wide, off a stick in front. Top line for Buffalo trying to get something started here. Alex Tuck, Tage Thompson, and J.J. Paterka in his National Hockey League debut. Here's Tuck with a shot, got through traffic and scored. Alex Tuck, first game as a Sabre. And Buffalo, on its fourth shot, is on the scoreboard. Well, this puck looked like it was tipped in front, redirected down, and past Blackwood. 
Just a quick wrist shot up top from Tuck right here, and I think it's right in front. Tage Thompson with the redirection. Real good backhand tip down. And tough one for Blackwood to pick up. One more look at it, the shot. That's a great redirection there. Got to tie that guy's stick up in front. He's a big, rangy guy in front. Tage Thompson gets the Sabres on the board. We've got a game now just 33 seconds into the second period. You knew the Sabres would come out much stronger. They didn't have a very good first period. The Devils did. And now it's a 2-1 to one hockey game. 11th goal of the season for the older brother of Devils prospect Tice Thompson to make this a 2-1 to one game. Here's Sharon Govich trying to answer from the sharp angle that's fought off by the goaltender Lukanen. And the Sabres punch this out to center. Kyle Oposo over the line, taking off his stick, but the Sabres are on it again. Victor Olofsson back for Will Butcher. The return pass from Prow. Butcher with a shot glove down by Blackwood. Saved by Blackwood on the try by Olofsson in front. It's time now for the live odds presented by FanDuel Sportsbook. Make every moment more. Devils have to settle down here in this second period. Sabres have come out flying the first couple of shifts. Good shot and chance for Olofsson. Blackwood makes a nice save. Olofsson, a player who always seems to play well against the Devils. Six career goals versus the Devils, most against any opponent for the Sabre wearing number 71. And a face-off controlled by the Devils, won by Michael McLeod. Carried ahead here, Nathan Bastian. On here with Stu Denich and McLeod. Puck comes loose, McLeod. Able to hold the zone. Siegenthaler to work this in deep. Here's Bastion, checked behind the net. Prow, the defenseman in his NHL debut, trying to fight off the bigger, stronger player. Severson across this puck. Off the stick of McLeod, played by the Devils again. Now Siegenthaler with a shot. Taken by Buffalo, Studenich at center. Sees the Sabres send into the Devil's zone. Taken here by McLeod. He'll work this puck out to center. Two to one game in the opening minutes of the second period at Key Bank Center in Buffalo. Devils work it ahead. Yane Quoken in over the Buffalo line. Pass too far for the cutting Andreas Janssen. Dawson Mercer off the bench trying to hold the zone. He could not. Dougie Hamilton has a goal tonight, and when he scored that power play goal, he became the first devil this season to eclipse 100 shots. He's at 101 now. Jesper Bratt, Pavel Zaka, Damon Severson round out the top four. I don't think that order should surprise too many people here with Hamilton at the top. And, and you want Dougie Hamilton shooting at uh, every opportunity, I and mean, he's got that Elusive shot, hard shot, accurate, gets it through. And it's always dangerous if you get guys in front tipping pucks or he can beat a goaltender clean from back there as well. I think the caveat to what I just said is that the Devils would like to see Yegor Sharangovich high on that list, and they hope he emerges that way in the second half of the season. Saved by Lukanen off the pad. Bjork behind the net. Casey Fitzgerald across. And the Sabres see this deflect into the Devils bench. Uh, congratulations to well, Sabres strike early here in the second period to cut the lead in half. We take a look at Jack Hughes. He has a couple assists in the first period of this game, his 13th career multi-point game. And I just really like uh, the way he's skating tonight. Uh, I want to see him use his strength and get that puck and get on the uh, offensive and that's what he's done he's really been moving his feet and making plays you know no hesitation in his game in the first 20 minutes of this one and Jack's such a valuable player for this team moving forward you want to continue to see him grow as a player I really like what I saw in the first period from the youngster and that's his first multiple point game since returning from the dislocated shoulder let's watch Zaka play it across pass taken off the wall by Boquist and sent back the other way by the Sabres. Here's a chance. Thompson, and he scores! Tage Thompson in alone to tie the game at two. His second of the night. Well, the Devils get caught. 
in the Saber zone the high flip it was initially poked away on a nice reach check by Darlene and look at that high saucer he knows the Sabres are in behind it's both tuck in Thompson Thompson picks that loose puck up clear cut breakaway snaps it past Blackwood's glove side and just like that we're tied at two one more look at it Thompson playing with a lot of confidence his second goal early in this second period to tie it up what a reversal Devils held the Sabres to three shots on goal in the opening period and then scored on twice in the opening three and a half minutes of the second here's Butcher puck taken away by Hughes plays it across the goal mouth comes to Siegenthaler Devils need a response now taken here by Brat. Siegenthaler again that's held by the goaltender Luke in it the first Thompson goal his 11th of the year from Tuck and Darlene and his second of the night to tie up the game just moments ago and this play was all created by Darlene as he was able to poke that puck away from Boquist as it came off the boards just inside the Sabre zone and then the recognition with the high flip as Thompson and Tuck were off to the races there and Thompson on the breakaway makes it a 2-2 game and now it's time for the Devils just to settle down again and and get back in their game we know you take a 2 nothing lead you're feeling good about yourself we know about momentum swings but you can't let it unravel and that's something the Devils are going to continue to learn and get better at and let's see how they respond Siegenthaler to punch this ahead Darlene working on a two-point night he gets the lone assist on the tying goal at 317 of the second pass behind Bastion Pesic across for Casey Fitzgerald the 24 year old son of the Devils general manager Bjork played ahead by Buffalo and flipped in by Cody Eakin Siegenthaler checked behind the net Bjork battling for it Devils under some pressure here but student each to play it out to center Quoken and flips and chases by himself Andreas Janssen to track the loose puck sent into the corner Mercer to guide this back here's Subban with a shot blocked away and the Sabres nearly spring the youngster Paterka JJ Paterka drops a pass back broken up here by Mercer in transition the Devils come Yane Kwokinen pulls up over the Sabres line holds gloved initially by Lukanen and the Sabres work it back the other way here is a Poso with the drop for Butcher will Butcher shooting and a save by Blackwood well big stop there the Sabres coming in waves here Butcher with a great opportunity Peyton Krebs on the puck shot by Butcher is steered aside by Blackwood Krebs is the rookie centerman also part of that Jack Eichel trade from the Vegas Golden Knights former first round pick of the Golden Knights I see the Sabres back off the Devils at their blue line and nice little drop past the butcher activating from the left point through the neutral zone and big save there by Blackwood to keep it tied at two off the draw the butcher established himself in the NHL with a wonderful rookie season you might recall 44 points as a first year defenseman out of the University of Denver Boquist with a shot that's blocked away by Fitzgerald comes here to Hesha his shot high redirected to the corner Nico again now Zaka peels away from Pesic tried to pick up Hamilton but broken up and Asplund to skate this back the other way better than six minutes gone by terrific start to the period for the home team as Buffalo has tied the game he sure plays to center and we knew the Sabres would come out a lot better than they did in the first where they only had three shots Devils were a half step quicker in the first frame of this game but now all of a sudden the Sabres have really turned it up a notch and, and now you've got to be able to manage this and the Devils 
give up two quick goals, Kanja. Now you've got to just settle back in and get to your game, which made you effective in the first period, and that was pace. But they got to be a little smarter. Paterka motoring over the Devils line. Nice maneuver. He's on the puck again in the corner. Tried to work it for Thompson. And the Devils back the other way. Bratt to play this across. Hughes takes it off the wall. Hughes shooting. And a save made by Lukanen. A timeout in Buffalo. 2-2 game. Half to start the second period was not the way they wanted to start it. And an area of focus for them has been protecting leads. When you look at their last 10 games coming to tonight, they're 1-8-1. One, and one, But they've had leads in six of those games. And tonight, they had another lead, and they've already given that up. So now, for me, it's about managing the rest of this second period. Where this team, they've given up the seventh most, uh, the, the most goals in the third period. And, but yeah, they've scored the seven most in the second period. So it's one of these things where mentally, the Devils have to learn how to manage the second periods and protect their leads. And we see a great chance there for the Devils. And that's gonna be one of those opportunities Coach Russ is gonna talk about. They need to bury their chances. Back to you guys. Shot by Severson. Thank you, Bryce. It is tracked in the corner by Studenich. Well, we're gonna to have to take a look at that again because you saw Studenich tilt his head back and look up to the rafters. He couldn't believe he didn't put that puck in. He's looking for his elusive second NHL goal. Studenich, Eakin to the far side. John Hayden keeps the puck deep in the Devils zone. Two Sabres goals, 244 apart. Stop made by Blackwood in front. And gloved by Studenich again. Devils under duress here as it's sent to center by Bastion. Rasmus Darlene, long pass to center. Siegenthaler under pressure here from Oposo. Devils come away with it. Now Quokinen gets to center and dumps in. Lukanen got it by his countryman Quokinen. Back the other way. The Sabres come. And here's Krebs. Deep in the Devils zone. Can't get on the puck. Taken back by the Sabres to the point. Darlene. With a puck deflected over the glass and into the netting for a stoppage in play. Well, you see, student each gets checked from behind. That pass was a difficult one to pick up. Cody Eakin with the shot. Good save by Blackwood there. Siegenthaler is able to get to that loose puck behind the net. Here's the opportunity. Initial shot stopped by looking in and look at student each. He looks like he had. Most of the net, I don't know if the reach there from the Sabre defender deflected that, but he couldn't believe that was not in the back of the net. Here's Hamilton. Hamilton a second time, gloved down and sends it out to the neutral zone. And Darlene flips right back in. Sabre's team, we told you, that was playing better hockey just before the extended break. Points in each of their last four games. Two wins, two overtime defeats, including the last game they played. Overtime loss to the Penguins some 12 days ago. Picked up here, Boquist able to drop a pass back. Hamilton on the puck, his shot. Gloved down by Lukanen. Centering try in front. Boquist couldn't get a shot away. And the Sabres will hold. Well, after that second goal to tie the game up, the Devils have. Started to apply more pressure on the Sabres and, and get their legs moving and get in the offensive zone quickly on transition, but haven't found a way to get that third goal just yet on Lukanen. Had save made by Blackwood behind the net. Sabres battling for it. Rasmus Asplin skated ahead by Brack. Jasper Bratt has a step on Pesek. Now puts the brakes on. Waits for the reinforcements. Here they come. Siegenthaler with a pass for Hughes. Tried to set it up for Severson. Olofsson got knocked down. There's a penalty coming up against the Devils on the delayed call. And now the touch made. And the Devils penalty kill unit will go to work for the first time when we come back. Severson for a trip. It's 2-2. Just have their first power play tonight. Well, you saw Severson 
Try to jump into the hole there. Devils had some pressure in the Sabre zone, but he reaches out and, and his stick gets caught in the skates of Olofsson as he loses it as well. So the Sabres get their first power play tied at two here. And the penalty kill for the Devils needs to come through here in a big way. A much improved Devils penalty kill. The Sabres power play is ranked 18th in the National Hockey League. Devils right now middle of the pack in the NHL. 15th best penalty kill in the NHL. Michael McLeod starts this off along with Nico Heischer. The Sabres control off the draw. Will Butcher quarterbacking this first wave of the power play. The return pass from Oposo. Here's Olofsson. Drops it back. Butcher again. Oposo at the circle. His shot redirected to the corner. Corralled here by Olofsson again. Siegenthaler under pressure deep in the zone. Works this free for Heischer. Now Graves. On the kill here along with Siegenthaler as they dig for the loose puck. Krebs, Oposo, roots the line and deep in the zone for the Sabres. Devils come away with it though. And Nico will skate to center and the Devils get a change. Big rugby scrum uh, to the left of Blackwood's net and the Devils find that loose puck and that's important winning those battles or finding the puck. And they get it down the ice. Told you at the start, Jimmy Vesey placed in COVID protocol, so that changes the Devils penalty kill units and the forward combinations in particular on the second wave. Yane Kwokinen and Pavel Zaka on here for the Devils. Vesey, an excellent penalty killer. Studenich on for the Devils. Bouncing puck gets by Asplund and played here by Rasmus Dahlin. 35 to go on the kill. Darlene sends Thompson on his way. The big man for the Sabres has scored twice to tie the game. Studenich will send the length of the ice. A real good stick from Ryan Graves there on Tage Thompson. And he gets that puck poked away and then to Studenich who clears. Sharon Govich on for the balance of the kill here. Carried ahead here by Buffalo. Tuck across. Paterka drops it back. Here's Darlene. Paterka can't handle the pass. Under pressure, Darlene, and forced out to center by Sharon Govich. Out of the box is Severson, but he's fought off. That's a really good kill there by the Devils. Siegenthaler to feather this ahead. Now back to even strike. Here come the Devils. Hughes walking in. Puck knocked off his stick. That was Yoki Haru. That is a terrific defensive play by Yoki Haru without taking a penalty. Jack Hughes looked like he was in all alone and, and just a quick poke at the end by Yakiharu. Asplund shot redirected by Blackwood. Now Eakin to the circle. John Hayden with a shot that wouldn't go. And Yokiharu forced back the other way by Janssen. See what that penalty kill does for the Devils. To turn momentum again in this game. There's Hughes with the takeaway at center. Played across. This is Zaka on the off wing with a shot. Stopped by Lukanen. Hughes knocked down as play continues. Zaka plays it back. Severson works it across. Graves firing. Saved by Lukanen. Well, Jack Hughes has made a couple of real nice steals in the neutral zone. Good positioning. Breaking up plays and then gets it over to Zaka here in transition. The quick shot, big right pad save from Lukanen as Hughes goes flying over a Buffalo defender. And here's that play I'm talking about. Jack Hughes is in all alone or thinks he is. He actually shields that putt, but Yoki Haru, Haru with that long reach and poke at the last second. So Hughes doesn't get a shot on goal. It was a nice save by Uko Pekka Lukanen. On Saka, UPL delivers, they say, in Buffalo. Off the faceoff, Butcher, checked by Boquist. Heischer battling for the puck. Sabres work this to the stick of Ethan Prow. Called into action from the taxi squad for the Sabres prior to tonight's game. Devils with a couple of similar moves tonight as we watch Zaka gain the zone. Krebs slowed his progress. That's gloved down by Lukanen and 
The whistle blows as Lucan in controls. RWJ Barnabas Health proud to honor its patient, experienced staff for the courage and selflessness they've displayed during these difficult times. Heroes work here. RWJ Barnabas Health. We told you the Devils got five players back from COVID protocol. Tomas Tatar, John Gillies, and Vizi, who we alluded to moments ago, are the players in COVID protocol for the Devils. Five different forwards for the Sabres, including Jeff Skinner, are in COVID protocol. And one defenseman as well, Jacob Bryson. Cans, we talk about momentum swings in hockey games, and, and leads aren't easy to protect anymore, Al. Looking around the league, Washington was up 3 nothing in Washington on Nashville. It's 3-3 now. So, mm. I, I mean, it, it's learning to manage when the momentum is on the other team's side because the other team has a lot to do with it, but it's making sure you're taking away the middle of the ice and, you know, tying up a stick when Thompson deflects it or not getting caught with pressing too hard in the offensive zone where Tage Thompson ties it up on a breakaway in behind the Devils' defense. Picked up here, Dawson Mercer cutting in, circles behind the net, tried the wraparound and broken up as Asplund plays this to center. Seen that in Dawson Merson's arsenal in the opening 30 games this season. Janssen able to collect the puck. Plays it across. Hughes, a shot stopped by Lokanen. Comes back to Jack Hughes. Drops a pass back. Siegenthaler for Severson. Devils are starting to hum a little bit. Hughes shooting, and that's fought off by Lukanen again. Picked up here by Kwokanen. Reverse to the far side. Devils drop it back for Siegenthaler. Severson. Played to the corner. The return from Hughes. Severson drive deflected to the corner again. The Sabres need a change. And Lukanen will give them one here as he covers. Under five to go in the second period. A 2-2 game. The Devils in Buffalo. from COVID protocols, but since they've returned from the break, three have entered. That's Tomas Jatar, John Gillies, and the latest Jimmy VC. But the NHL and NHLPA announced today that they will have a modification to the COVID-19 protocols overall. The guys were talking about how frustrating it can be when you aren't feeling any symptoms and having to sit out all that time. Well, the amount of time you'll have to isolate is now down from 10 days to five days for fully vaccinated players who are showing no symptoms or have symptoms improving. So something to keep our eye on in the coming weeks and rest of the season. Guys. Erica, thank you as Jesper Bratt is knocked to the ice. Puck comes out to center under pressure as Graves carried over the line here and kicked out by Alex Tuck. Just to pick up on what Erica was saying as Butcher is in a race here with Bratt, who gets on the puck. Jesper Bratt with a pass that deflects out to center. This should have been a night where we were watching Alex Holtz and Luke Hughes battle against each other at the World Junior Championships in a game that was scheduled between the United States and Sweden, as most of you, I'm sure, have heard by now. That event has been canceled due to COVID concerns and a remarkable and disappointing development for so many young players who were looking forward to compete on that stage. How devastating for these great young talented kids and I have my own thoughts on that but I won't talk about it on this broadcast. It's insanity what transpired. Played in front, student each guarding the house will punch this ahead. Here's Nate Bastion for the Devils. To center, he'll fire in. Lukanen sees the incoming traffic. There's Studenich in the corner. Three and a half to go in the second period. Bastion draws the attention of two Sabres, frees up the puck, and the Devils are on it. Siegenthaler throws one in front, and Lukanen stops play. And now we see Hose will give Bastion a little cross check from behind, and everybody comes together. Did you know you can still place live bets during the game? From props to over-unders, make every moment more on the FanDuel Sportsbook app. With three and a quarter to go in the second period, all Devils early. 
And the Sabres with two from Tage Thompson. Battle back to tie. 80 postponed games already in the National Hockey League. Montreal's next four home games have been postponed. The next time they play at Bell Center could be against the Devils in mid-January. Teams now have this maximum six-player taxi squad, which we hope will limit the number of occasions where teams cannot put a proper ice, proper team on the ice. Here it's 2-2. The Devils have 27 shots already in the game. They've exceeded their total from the entire last game they played when they were held to a season low 19 in that loss to the Penguins. And even though they gave up a couple of goals early in the second and Tage Thompson, the best saver this season from a goal scoring standpoint has both. Devils have had 16 shots here in the second, Kanjan. Some good looks. Lukanen's been a good difference in the net. Shot by Boquist, goes wide, caroms all the way to the other end of the ice. And Blackwood leaves here for Siegenthaler. Dawson Mercer over the Sabres line. Janssen for Quokinen. Watt tried to pick up Mercer in front, but broken up. That was just broken up, or it's a tap-in for Mercer. Here comes Fitzgerald for Buffalo, shooting, and that's redirected wide. Now Mercer in transition. Has some open ice, Quoken in cutting. Pass in deep for Janssen. Dougie Hamilton threw it across, got by everyone. I'd like to see Mercer. He, he's in a good shooting position there, Kanch. Maybe looking for you know, one too many plays or a pass there. He could have circled right toward the net and ripped that puck for a good scoring chance in a good scoring area. Paterka. Over the Devils line, works it across. Tuck with a drive, picked up here by Ryan Graves. Icing is waved off. Yoki Haru to the stick of Rasmus Dahlin. Late in the second period. Long pass for Buffalo. Corralled eventually by Tuck. That was Hughes going for the steal. Hughes on the puck. Jack Hughes got a shot away, and Lucan had made the save as he was somewhat cross-checked by Darlene. Play continues. Now Jack Hughes has been on an all game here. He, he is having a real strong game. A couple assists, some opportunities. He's stole a lot of pucks from the Sabres, whether it's in the neutral zone or offensive zone as well. Oposo, the return pass from Murray. Devils getting the path of that. Final 35 seconds of the period. Here's Prow across for Pesic. No! Icing waved off again as Blackwood plays it. Couldn't get it by the on-rushing Krebs. Student each for the Devils to work it across. And with 15 to go, Marion Student each over the Sabres line. Gets a shot away, fought off by Lukanen. Peyton Krebs. Ahead from Murray. Final seconds of the second period. Sabres look for one last shot. Poked off the stick of Oposo. That will do it. And these teams head for the third. Tied at two. Teams with identical 10, 15, and 5 records with 20 minutes, perhaps more, to decide this. The FanDuel second intermission report is coming your way. Erica Wachter, Bryce Salvador standing by in the studio. Player as a head coach with many wins, regular season and playoffs, took the Sabres to the 1999 Stanley Cup Final and one of seven men in Sabres history to serve as a player and coach for the team. Rick Jenneret, the legendary play-by-play -play man of the Sabres, is calling it quits at the end of a more than half-century career in the broadcast booth. Lindy Ruff with these memories of Rick's work. There's been so many. I, You know, his... Uh... I can just list them, you know, top shelf for Mama Hides of Cookies to Mayday, Mayday, Mayday uh, to everybody in Palmonville. Uh, you know, those, he just, he has an incredible knack of, and I don't know if he's dreamed these, these things up before and, and those goals just come his way, but he has an incredible 
way of announcing the game to get the fans to wrap their arms around what the game is and what a player just did. Um, very special individual. What a great man. Um, he's going to be dearly missed. I mean, I still like just throwing their game on and listening to him. Like, it, it's not like, I think he can keep doing it if he wants, but, you know, it's been a long time and he's had a, he's had a terrific career. Rick's been working a limited schedule for the Sabres in this his final season. Happy trails to him. The Devils play the Sabres one more time this year, and Ruff has such a connection to the wonderful city of Buffalo. Well, he does, and you always have fond memories where you spent so many years, whether as a player or a coach, and Rick Jenneret, one of the best the game has ever seen as far as play-by-play -play and his uniqueness. He's going to be missed, certainly, in Buffalo for sure, like Lundy Ruff said. As the third period gets underway, Jonas Siegenthaler with a shot that goes wide. Devils Hockey is presented by RWJ Barnabas Health, the official health care provider of the New Jersey Devils. Out of an extended break, Nico Heischer for Pavel Zaka with a shot blocked away in front. Devils tilt the ice in the opening half minute of the period, but the pass goes all the way back towards Blackwood. Well, the difference in the second period was a surge by Buffalo early, and their goaltender looking in. Devils had 18 shots and goals, some really good looks. Now they have to find a way to win a period and win a hockey game. Sharon Govich shooting, and that's redirected to the corner. Now Hughes firing from the opposite side. Dougie Hamilton, Ryan Graves. Shot blocked away in front, comes to the stick of Hughes. Backhand try is stopped. And now Oposo will send the Sabres in the other direction. Early chances for the Devils in the opening minute, plus Peyton Krebs. In his Sabres debut, along with Tuck, this puck comes in front, collected by the Devils, and now Hughes in transition. Has Bratt and Janssen with him. Jesper Bratt. Sees it poked off his stick by Oposo. Hughes there for support. Ty Smith unable to keep the puck in. Been a strong night for Hughes. A two assist game. Devils and Sabres deadlocked here in the third. And coming back for the loose puck is Rasmus Asplin, the Swedish born winger on the Sabres. Back the other way. Asplin with a pass ahead. Off the stick of Olofsson. And this is Subban for the Devils on the puck to send it the way. Devils rookie centerman Dawson Mercer sees it taken back by Buffalo. Devils team seeking its first victory since the 8th of December against the Flyers. The schedule gets busy now, coming out of the extended break. It's basically every other day for a bit here as we watch Siegenthaler dump in. The Oilers coming to the Rock for a New Year's Eve afternoon game. On Friday, puck taken here by Thompson and worked across. Tuck with a pass, got by Erasmus Dahlin. There's Studenich with the takeaway for the Devils. Marion Studenich tries to throw it in front, had Bastion in front. Now Paterka back the other way for Buffalo. Sealed off neatly by Severson. Studenich and the Devils work it back the other way. Icing's waved off. This is Pesic on the puck. Now in his second stint with the Buffalo Sabres, signed as a free agent over the summer, Mark Pesic. John Hayden steers into the devil zone. Boquist on the near wall. Comes back to the blue line. There's Casey Fitzgerald with a shot that got through and a save by Blackwood. Battle for the puck deep in the zone. Bjork works this free. And the Devils will get on the loose puck here as it's nursed back by Boquist. Long pass ahead. Boquist is on it. Checked along the near wall, but not before he gets the puck in deep. Heischer's sealed off. Oposo met by Pavel Zaka. And here's Casey Fitzgerald for Buffalo once again. Only his second game in the National Hockey League. Bratt 
over the Sabres line. Canceled out by Yoki Haru. Now Hughes digging for the puck. Shot by Sharon Govich and a save by Lukanen. Brad again. Sharon Govich, another shot fought off. Hughes backhander, he scores! Jack Hughes picked up a loose puck side of the net, and the Devils regain the lead. Well, what a play by Jack Hughes. After the initial two saves off the stick of Sharon Govich by Lukanen, but Hughes stays with it. Puck goes off his body. He's able to chip the backhand down and up over Lukanen. There's the initial save. Watch Jack Hughes right here. That puck lands right to his stick on the backhand. I thought initially went off his body. It went off Darlene's body, the defenseman for the Sabres. And Jack Hughes has been in the right place at the right time all game long. Gives the Devils a 3-1 or 3-2 lead. For Jack Hughes, that is his sixth goal of the season, his fourth since his return from the dislocated shoulder. This is our promise, to be your most trusted source for innovative heart surgery and procedures. At RWJ Barnabas Health, our hearts beat for you. And a puck sails over the glass for a stoppage in play. 4.40 into the third period. It's the start to the period the Devils desperately wanted. And it gets punctuated here by a Hughes goal. Yeah, Lukanen has been terrific in the Buffalo net. But the Devils finally find a way to regain the lead. And Jack Hughes has been a star in this game. And Sharon Govich, good to see him firing that puck at every turn. And Devils are doing a good job, a lot of energy, and they're getting to loose pucks to keep plays alive in the offensive zone. Mercer frees up a puck. It's taken here by Prowl. Defenseman for the Sabres. His NHL debut coming at the age of 29. Long time coming for the Minnesota native. Prowl sends to the corner. Murray trying to find the handle. It comes out to the neutral zone where it's tapped ahead further by Kwokinen. Now Andreas Janssen will chase. Drops a pass back for Mercer. Dawson Mercer threw it in front off the glove of Lukanen, who covers. Here's tonight's hashtag Cadillac Trivia Answer. If you can stump us, tweet your own question to hashtag Cadillac Trivia. 2-0-0 ties in Devils history. One against Buffalo. Who's the opponent in the other game? I'm not 100% sure. I think I was in that game as well, Kanj, but I'm not sure. I think it's somebody in the division. I'm going to say Islanders. That's why it's my best guess. Oh, yes, <laughs> December 1st. Right, Sometimes partner. you throw the dart at the board and you just hit the bullseye. I, I said in the division that was just a guess, but you got the team right. Our staff will clue us in on the goaltenders in that game momentarily, I hope. I'll bet you Broder was one of them. You think? Here's Zaka. <laughs> He's sure. Cody Eakin takes the puck back for Buffalo. On the go-ahead goal, Hughes from Sharon Govich and Brat at the 428 mark. Carried ahead, Rasmus Asplund over the line. Siegenthaler. Does well to meet Asplund, but the puck battle continues. Along the near wall, Zaka can't control, sent to the far side. Here's Darlene working on a two-point night. Sabres see it get past Olofsson. A drive by Darlene is blasted wide. Now the Sabres answer back with some pressure of their own. Yoki Horyu able to pick up Darlene at the top. His shot blocked away in front. And lifted out by McLeod. Bouncing puck is taken here by Hughes. Fought off by Thompson, but there's Bratt for support to drop it back. Ty Smith with a shot. He scored. It was redirected. And the Devils open it up. It's a 4-2 lead. Well, again, Devils hunt that puck down, get it to the point. Ty Smith, the quick wrist shot. I don't know if Sharon Govich got a piece of that, and it looks like he did. The way he's celebrating. Brad's had an excellent game as well. And you see Sharon Govich right in front. The quick wrist shot. It was 
probably going wide, but Sharon Govich gets inside position, tips that pus puck past Lukanen, and the Devils regain the two-goal lead, 4-2 to two here in the third period. A huge goal for Sharon Govich in front for Yegor Sharon Govich, his fifth goal of the season. And the Devils get this back to a two-goal advantage with Subban on the puck to play it ahead. Janssen over the line for the Devils. Played across. Subban to tap it in further. Gets it back from Kwokinen. P.K. Subban steps up and his chance is redirected to the corner. Big opening seven-minute stretch of the third here for the Devils. Our guys are telling us Brodeur, John Van Beesbrook for the Islanders in that 0-0 tie in December of 2000. Well, the Beeser eventually would come to the New Jersey Devils, I think, the following year. Didn't give up a goal. Beezer had four penalty minutes in that game, we're told. Hit in the corner by Janssen to free up the puck. Now Bastion. In his own zone. On the go-ahead goal, Hughes from Sharon Govich and Bratt. Well, that Ty Smith took that shot there from the point. This is the Hughes goal. Sharon oh. Govich has the fourth one, my oh, friend. Oh, excuse me, Kenj. They have quickly, right? This has been an explosion in the third <laughs> as it comes out to center. Well, for Jack Hughes, first three-point game since April of last year, in a game against the Buffalo Sabres. I've absolutely loved his game here tonight. He has been all over the puck and, you know, one of the better players at taking pucks away, stealing it from the opposition. He's done that all night as well. McLeod under pressure in his own zone, got the puck away from Bjork, and here's Dougie Hamilton to play it ahead. And again, Graves and Subban have made a big difference on the back end. Their veteran presence, they've had strong games. Devils with a nice response in the third after allowing two goals. 7-1 shot disparity here for the Devils in the third period. Nico Heischer trying to race on the loose puck. Picked up here by Nico. In front, Zaka with a shot stopped by Lukanen. Uh, great hustle and work by Heischer. Settled by the Devils again. Heischer with a shot that's blocked. And Krebs to work this out to center. And to your point about Ty Smith, he does get the primary assist on the Sharon Govich goal. Jesper Bratt gets the other. I was way ahead of myself. You said Sharon Govich, and he had an assist on that last goal. And then the next goal was his. Here's Prow to play it across. And Pesic to skate this to center. Sabres play to the corner. Here's Asplund on the puck. Winds to the opposite side. Damon Severson, Sharon Govich on the far side. Sabres take the puck back. That's a nice play by Pesic to the side of the net. Pesic with a shot over the bar and over the glass for a stoppage in play. It's a 4-2 Devils lead in Buffalo. Anything can happen in Jersey, and that clearing attempt hit the ref. I didn't see that initially, Kanj by the Sabres as they wrapped it around. Bratt picks up that loose puck, finds Sharon Govich with the bomb from the high slot. Lukanen makes a huge save, but Jack Hughes right on the spot, chips it in with his backhand. That gave the Devils a 3-2 lead, and that is your New Jersey Lottery million dollar replay. Jack Hughes with three points, Jesper Bratt with three points, and Sharon Govich with a goal and a helper. As the Sabres look to answer back, Blackwood rejects the shot from long range. Bratt with a goal and two assists on the night. It's his first three-point game since the 28th of November against the Flyers. Carried to center, Dahlin across. Olofsson plays a pass back. Rasmus Dahlin to the corner. Return pass to the defenseman, his shot. Redirected to the side. Olofsson on the puck, and now Yoki Haru. Sabres trying to get right back in the game. They drop this back. Yoki Haru across. Darlene, shot saved by Blackwood. Rebound comes back to the blue line. 
Here's Subban for the Devils to work it ahead, and Bastion gets it out of harm's way. Well, smart. Get it out of your own zone when you're under fire, and Sabres were pressing there, and Bastion makes sure he clears it up with a chip out of the zone, and they get a change. Here's Thompson. He's been the Sabres' driving force tonight with those two goals early in the second period. Tuck centering try. Shot save made by Blackwood. A uh, huge save there by Blackwood. On Paterka in the slot. Back the other way. Quokinen. Janssen. The return pass. Quokinen kicked out by Lukanen. They try to tee it up for Quokinen again, but the Sabres break that up. And as Tage Thompson sends in, Buffalo will change. Devils trying to put an end to a six-game losing streak. What's been their strongest performance in some time. Still eight and a quarter to go. Carried over the line here. Prow with a pass. York couldn't control and taken back the other way by Nico Hishi. Here's the Devils captain barreling into the Sabres end. This line's done its job tonight as well with the return of Nico Heischer to the Devils lineup. This is sent in by Buffalo. Still key pieces missing. Tatar, Vizi, goaltender John Gillies, the other player in COVID protocol. Here's Hughes. Puck taken off his stick deep in the zone. And Oposo will work this back. Given away. Shot by Sharon Govich. Wouldn't go. Centering try in front. Taken here by Bratt. Drops a pass back. And the shot by Hamilton missed. Comes back to Dougie Hamilton. Off the skate of Hughes. Does well. Hamilton drives. Save made by Lukanen. And here's Darlene to get it out of the zone, and it deflects into the bench area. Under seven to play at Key Bank Center. 4-2 Devils in Buffalo. Go way back when these two teams met near the start of the season in overtime. Watch this pass from Damon Severson, the little fake shot, backhand pass to Pavel Zaka. That ends up being the game winner. That is your try accurate precision pass of the game. And why not? They're playing the Sabres again here. Kanj having a pretty strong game thus far. Two goals in the third period. And the Devils lead 4-2. to two. So Still some work left here, but a lot of guys have had strong games. I just love the way the Devils have skated here. And they've hunted loose pucks down. They've won battles. And Jack Hughes, Jesper Bratt, and company have had fantastic games along with a few others. But it's been a team effort. Still a ways to go, though. Here's Thompson to play it ahead for Buffalo. Student each off the takeaway. Sees it swept off his stick, and here comes Thompson looking for his third. A shot rejected by Blackwood. I think he got a piece of that and redirected it wide. Over the line, McLeod knocked down on the play, and the Sabres work it to center. Well, that's a real big save. Not a big time in this game by Mackenzie Blackwood. And that's what you need from your goaltender. The sharpshooter, Tage Thompson, for the Buffalo Sabres, who already has two. Looking to get the Sabres within one, and that's a big time save from the goaltender for the Devils. Played across and corralled here by Asplund over the Devils line. He's met well as it's played out to center. Devils are out shooting Buffalo 40 to 18. This is the fourth time this season they've registered 40 or more shots. Been a pretty complete performance, as Dano alluded to moments ago. Back the other way, carried over the line. Olafson with a nice pass. Asplund drops it back. Prow couldn't pull the trigger. Cody Eakin to play it back for Buffalo. With five and a half to go in the third. A drive, saved made by Blackwood. They score on a rebound. Ethan Prow in his National Hockey League debut with his first career goal. And it's a game again with 5.22 left. Well, it just doesn't come easy, does it? Devil's been pretty dominant throughout this hockey game. Yet they find themselves up one with 5.22 left in the hockey game and just a 
chip pass to the point. They fire it at the net, and Prowl comes down low from the defensive position in the right place at the right time and gets that rebound. One more look at it. And just slides it under Blackwood's left pad to make it a 4-3 game. Prowl with his first in the NHL. He was a four-year collegiate player at St. Cloud State. Played 26 games in Germany last year. And a big moment for him as he waited a long time for the debut. Shot by Subban is blocked by the goaltender, Lukanen. As the fans in Western New York come alive again, Smith tracking back for the puck. Checked by Krebs. Puck winds around. Pesek able to keep it in. An ample amount of work for the Devils to do to nail this one down. Hughes having a terrific game off the bench to take this puck. Here's Subban. There's just been a few plays here and there where Buffalo's been very opportunistic. They haven't had a whole lot of opportunities in this game, but they've been able to cash in. Played across, pass behind, Tuck still looking for the puck as he's tangled up with Dougie Hamilton. Graves works it free, Brett to send it out to center. Now Butcher across for Casey Fitzgerald. He'll send into the devil's zone. Hamilton guides this for Graves. We'll see a lot of the top pair for the Devils here down the stretch. Collected by Hughes. And sent in further by Sharon Govich. Not the first time a player like Casey Fitzgerald has faced an opposing team with a general manager that is his dad. There have been other examples of that in the NHL. One of them related to the Devils, Max McNabb, GM of the Devils. Peter McNabb played against some of his Devils teams. Lucan and across. Now Fitzgerald with the outlet pass. Redirected into the Devils zone. Here's Siegenthal around the puck. Under pressure, has some support from Studenich. And Severson will send this on goal. Icing negated as it's played here by Yoki Haru. Stretch pass off the stick of Asplund. Now Boquist trying to jar that away from Dali. With under three to go. Sabres work it to the opposite side. Boquist. And the Devils able to send this back in further. This is where they prefer to play the game late in the third. Up by one in the Sabres zone. Krebs to work it ahead. And settled once again by Rasmus Dahlin. Over the line. Here's Murray for Buffalo. Oposo. Watched by Graves. Subban to work it ahead. And space here for Bratt to work it out of the zone. Pass nope. behind Hughes. Nifty little pass from Subban. Outlet pass in his own zone to Bratt. Devils able to work this out to center with 2.10 to go. It is Matt Ellis, not Don Granado, the acting coach tonight. How early will he pull the goaltender, Lucan? And if he does, picked up here, Paterka to center. Tage Thompson will drop this back, and now Proud to play it across. Yoki Haru into the devil's zone. On his horse, Hamilton guides the puck around. Chipped out of the zone neatly by Bratt. The Sabres net is empty. Darlene back to take this. He looks at 200 feet of ice. Six attackers on for Buffalo. Rasmus Darlene sends in. Hamilton on the far side. And the puck Redirected all the way back into the Sabres zone. Icing is the call with 1.19 to go. Some of the greatest players in NHL history are on the docket for the Devils in the coming days. Connor McDavid and the Oilers at the Rock Friday, 1 o'clock, MSG Plus. Alex Ovechkin and the Capitals on MSG Plus Sunday in a matinee game on the road and then the Bruins come into Prudential Center Tuesday MSG plus check that the game is in Boston my mistake road game for the Devils Tuesday against the Bruins but this feels like an enormous minute 19 that we have in front of us here is it ever 
And the Sabres have hung around with some opportunistic scoring. The Devils have been, like we talked about, Cans, pretty dominant most of this game, firing a whole lot of pucks at the Buffalo netminder. McLeod will be one of the five. Shots early to take the draw. Shots 42 20. Devils 11 3 in the first, 18 10 in the second, and 13 7 in the third. So that shows me they played a complete game. It's not just about shots. However, they find themselves in a one goal game, and that's kind of when you're in a slump like they have been. Yes, they had that pause, and they've come out with a lot of energy and played a strong game here, but it never comes easy, regardless of how you play. And a minute 19 left here, up one. Lucan and on the bench next to the other Sabres goaltender, P.K. Subban's brother Malcolm. Off the draw. Darlene to the far side. This is Victor Olofsson. Behind the net tuck. Hit by Siegenthaler. Hamilton works the puck to the far side, but the Sabres are on it. Olofsson to the stick of Alex Tuck. Trying to make something happen late in his Sabres debut. Puck freed up. Sabres have it. Played across the pass. Never arrived for Tage Thompson in front. Final minute, third period. Devils trying to kiss goodbye to a six-game losing streak. McLeod from his knees, trying to control, taken back by the Sabres, and a shot saved made by Blackwood. Sabres on the rebound, they drop it back. This is Darlene at the top, plays it across, a shot blocked away and out to the neutral zone. As the Sabres tag, Darlene fires in, and the puck is out of play with under half a minute to go. Well, big stop there by Blackwood. Good hustle by McLeod. Bastion, good work down low by Hamilton and Siegenthaler. And as you have to fight for those loose pucks in a tight game like this along the wall. 28.8 seconds away from breaking the losing streak. Face off in the Sabre zone. Cody Eakin against Nico Ohisha. Nico got the puck back, but the Sabres are on it. This is a post up. Sent in deep by the Sabres. Bouncing puck. Forced out to center by Nico Heischer. Here's Heischer. Kicks the puck ahead. Goes wide. Nico at the side of the net. Got hit from behind by a post up. Final seconds here. All the way to Mackenzie Blackwood. He'll keep the puck in motion. Severson sends it away. And the Devils have their first win in three weeks. They snap a six-game losing streak and come out of the extended Christmas break with a 4-3 win in Buffalo. It wasn't easy, but it was a complete game. We talk about the Devils needing to play more 60-minute games or at least close to that can as far as energy and puck management and supporting each other they did a terrific job most of the night and win a hard fought 4-3 victory and there's Blackwood time for the stars of the game brought to you by Mercedes-Benz three-point nights for Jack Hughes and Jesper Brett Yegor Sharangovich big goal in the third period